Lawrence Joy and today I'm be reading my highest rated books on my TBR. So last year I, well sometime last year I read the lowest rated books on my TBR and I thought this year I'll do the opposite which is the highest rated book on my TBR and I've just been wanting to read some of the books. I do have an idea on which one's the highest rate rating on my TBR but I just want to I'll do this kind of video just because I want to do at least one more video project before things get too busy for me and this is kind of motivating me to read some of the books that are at the highest rating on my TBR on Goodreads but let's get to the uh let's find out what books are the highest rated. Okay so I'm on my Goodreads and going to my books and want to read shelf and then going to average rating okay so, so the first one is solving for the unknown but it's not going to be published until next year so I'm not going to count that the ballad of never after which is not coming out until later this year same with full lady fortune the nightingale I don't own yet but I do want to read it the wilderness of stars that's not going to be published until later I'm not in on the House of Olympus, so I'm not going to read that. Heartstopper I don't own yet. Um, Carrie Seno is back, which is not going to be published until later this year. The Hyuga, which I don't own, so I, I really want to read it, but I don't own it. Six of Crows I still haven't read yet. House of Earth and Blood I don't own. Oh, Seven Lives... Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which I do own it. I'm not that surprised that it's highest rating because I know that's one of Taylor Chicken's reads um, more well-known um, books. So that's going to be one of them. Oh, Our Violent Ends, which is the sequel to These Violent Delights, which is one of my favorite books from last year. I definitely would. Uh, this is definitely another one I will pick up. No, Margaret Athena. I'm not at a Hero of Olympus yet. Um, Silent Voice Volume 1, which I do want to read, but I don't own that. How's that Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune? I I do own that, actually, and I didn't expect... I kind of expected it was high rating because I know he's one of the favorite or one of the um, popular authors right now. Gemini. <laughs> I'm not that surprised because when I had a... Um, highest rated, um, highest rated, um, prompt for my TBR game. I had this book on my TBR and I, um, definitely, I have, um, I haven't picked it up yet. Oh, Keepers of the Lost City. I did not ex expect it, so, huh, I think that was like all five of my books. So let me see, one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll go grab those. <laughs> So these are the five books that are on my highest uh, rating, the highest rated books on my TBR. I'm really surprised of Keeper of the Lost Season. I'll tell you all about what all these are about in a bit. So I'm just going to pick, um, tell you about um, Keeper of the Lost Cities. It's about a girl who finds out that she's half elf and she can uh, has a power of um, telepathic, if I remember correctly. And I know this is one of the popular... Middle grade books that are like in like tenth book in a series, I think. I don't know, but I've been interested since I've heard people talk highly about it and it kinda makes me wanna read myself. And it's a really chunky middle grade book <laughs> which I did not night which I completely forgot about. It's uh, let's see, it's it's four hundred and eighty eight pages, so yeah, I did not uh, so it is a very chunky book and I know the other books in the series are about the same size or longer than that but I am really excited to pick this up either way. And another highest rated book on my TBR is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo which is about a, um, a reporter writing a report on Evelyn Hugo and her life in the 1930s if I remember correctly or is it 19... yeah 1950s okay so I was kind of close so I know this is one of very popular um, book by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which is another one I haven't read yet. I know she has a new one coming out, like I said, and I've read Daisy Jones and the Six, and I also 
Red, Malibu Rising, Taylor, uh, uh, Daisy Jones and Essex is one of my favorites so far from her book. So I'm really excited about picking this up because I've been wanting to pick this up since I heard nothing but good things about it. And it's been hyped on booktube been a long, for a long time and I just feel like I'm I feel like left out for not reading this. So yeah, I'm really excited to pick this up. <laughs> And another one on my highest rating, like I mentioned, on The House of Cerulean and the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Clune, which is about a guy who's um, becoming a caretaker of this orphanage. And I heard it's very heartwarming and another book that has been hyped on booktube. And I'm really excited to read this because I never read any books by T.J. Clune before. And I've heard good things about his books, so I'm definitely excited to give this one a try. And another one... One highest rated book is Gemini by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, which is a sequel to the Illuminate Files. And, then, and if I remember correctly, these follow a different set of characters. But if you haven't read the first book, the first book's about um, uh, um, two people who, uh, um, a boy and a girl that um, just broke up and they were forced into a, a space mission, if I remember correctly. It's been so long since I've read um, Illuminate, but I did enjoy it. And I. I've been very hesitant to pick Gemini up just because of how big it is, even though it's mixed media. And i am just been listening to this on audiobook. I know many people recommend to read this along with the audiobook, but I'm just the type of person that I'm like, I don't want to feel like I'm in a high school class because I did that for one of the classics I had to read and I just felt uncomfortable. So I'm just going to uh, just read the audiobook is much easier for me and I enjoy the um the Illuminate audiobook it's almost I I it's really hard to describe it but it's really good I really enjoyed it so yeah I'm excited and also nervous of picking this up <laughs> and then lastly Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gunn which is the sequel to These Violent Delights These Violent Delights it's a Romeo and Juliet retelling that takes place in Shane Hine in the 1920s and I love that book and I'm just really excited to pick this up because of that and I'm just I'm just really excited to read this finishing this duology again I'm sad it's a duology but I'm also excited to read this because I really want to know what happens next to the, the characters so yeah I'm really excited to pick these up and unlike the one I the video that I did about reading my lowest rated books I'm not expecting to DNF any of these books just because they are high um, read books and I'm and I should I decided like not to DNF it I should still give them a chance so I'm definitely not gonna be DNFing it even though I'm probably will DNF temporarily but not like permanently like I did with the lowest rate um, books on my TBR but yeah I'm excited to um, pick um, pick these up <laughs> so I'm trying to figure out which one I want to read first I know I want to I'm gonna audiobook mood right now so I definitely want to listen to uh, one of these on audiobook. I know I'm planning on reading or listening to Gemini on audiobook but this is going to be very weird for me to decide to listen to this on audiobook which is Our Violent uh, Delights by Chloe Gong. I want to read this on I want to listen to this on audiobook because I was like I haven't been listening to audiobooks in a while and I thought this would be a good choice even though I've read the first book physically and I thought I would try it on audiobook and I did a sample of it and I was like I was really enjoying the first chapter on audiobook and I was like the narrator it just I just like the sound of the narrator and how the narrator was telling the story and I was like yeah I definitely want to pick this up even though this is on my June TBR I kind of want to give it um a head start just because I just too excited to pick this up I'm actually this is what the one I'm excited to most to pick up for this specific video because this was my most anticipated release of the last half of last year so I definitely want to pick this up as soon as possible before I'm like avoiding it for some reason I don't know why I would but yeah I'm gonna be this will be my first um uh, raid for this video <laughs> hey everyone I started listening to our violent ends and I'm on page Seven eight, so I'm like fifteen percent way through it. Oh my gosh, I'm really loving it so far. I'm like want to continue on listening to it because I really want to know what happens to the characters and all that. I'm just really loving it so far, and I do hope I give it um a high rating like on like everybody 
like because it's the highest rated book on my Goodreads but I really hope I do end up loving it because I love these violent delights so yeah I'm gonna be listening to more of that hopefully I'll listen to I usually with audiobooks I usually listen an hour a day but with since this is a like the longest audiobook which makes no sense to me just because it's like almost 500 pages and it's a 17 hour long audiobook while Gemini is the biggest book out of the stack of, of the highest rate of books on my TBR but yet it's like 15 hours I should say but either way I'm still gonna continue on listening to Our Violent Ends. <laughs> hey everyone I've listened more on Our Violent Ends. I'm on page 193 so it's about halfway through it and I'm loving this so much I just can't wait to finish this because I really want to know what happens next. I couldn't stop listening to it like I couldn't put it down and I just really want to know what happens to the characters next. And I'm still trying to figure out what I want to read next because I know I'm pretty sure that the next audiobook I'm going to listen to is Gemini because I would listen to The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo on audiobook but it's not available for four months. <laughs> and I want to do this the same time frame as these books so I do not want to wait four months just for that so I'll have to read that physically. That might be my physical book that I want to pick for this video but but we should see. Sorry that the lawnmower is going on. The neighbors are mowing the lawns even though some of them have already mowed along and like nine o'clock this morning and I'm like I'm trying to sleep in. Why you Why you're doing this at nine o'clock in the morning? Sorry about that. Just a little distraction. But I'm gonna continue on our violent ends, and I'm pretty sure that I'll start my physical reads soon because I'm currently reading a different book. So yeah, I'll let you guys know in a bit, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, I listened more of our violent ends, and I'm on page two twenty, so I'm halfway through it. Oh my gosh, what is going on? And I honestly really I'm still loving the audiobook but I'm like literally want don't want to put it down still just be because I want to know what what's happening and I'm just like I I'm just my mind's still blowing I'm loving it so far and I'm just really want to know what happens next <laughs> and also since I finished my my current read I can pick up my physical book for this video which is The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I'm finally picking this up. I Nothing wrong with it. I just don't want to put it off for too long because I know that I probably would not want to pick it up and I know this is one of Taylor Jenkins Reid's um, most popular, one of the most popular novels of hers and I still haven't read them, this one yet and I know she has others but like I said this is like most popular one of the most popular ones and I'm just really excited to get started on this so I would finally read it and I hope I end up enjoying it because I know many people enjoy it well I know Daisy Jones and the Six is my favorite so far and I did enjoy Malibu Rising but not as much as Taylor Jenkins Reads so hopefully this will become one of my favorites who knows but yeah yeah I'm gonna get started on Seven Husbands of Evelyn Kyoko. <laughs> Hey everyone, I've read a lot of Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I got to page, what page am I? Seven, 74, I'm really liking it so far. I honestly couldn't put it down because I'm really liking it so much, which kind of surprised me and also kind of not because I like Taylor Jenkins Reid's previous books and I'm really liking this book so far. So I kind of can see why people really enjoy it and give it high rain so far and yeah that's pretty much it I just want to give you guys a quick rain update before I get ready for work but yeah so far I'm really liking Seven Out Spins of Violin Hugo and I definitely will be reading a bit um, more tonight before I go to sleep because I'm really I've been reading I've been using one of those um ASMR videos if that's what you call it but they but like some kind of background noise while I'm reading it before I go to sleep which has been helping me relax a bit before I go to sleep because just because I've been a little bit stressed lately but it's been helping and yeah I'll catch you guys later hey every 
buddy. I've listened more of Our Violent Delights. I'm more than halfway through it now. I'm on page 259, so basically a halfway mark. I really want to finish this so badly because I want to know what happens to the characters and all that. I just want to know what happens next. And also I've been physically reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I'm on page 100. Basically I'm at the 100 page mark and I'm really love liking it so far. I'm just like, couldn't put it down. It, I honestly can see why people like Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, even though for Our Violent Ends, I kind of figured why it's like a popular, um, uh, uh, these Violent Delights is a, like a very hyped, uh, YA fantasy, and of course Our Violent Ends is a sequel to that, and sorry, I got distracted because there's a, some, there's some cat in the neighborhood that's like very loud, right? And it's meowing very loudly and it woke me up like two o'clock in the morning and I'm like, uh, can I get some sleep? Because <laughs> I, I worked today and I'm just like, and now this cat won't leave me and Kevin alone. So, <laughs> well, he's outside, but I'm, I'm just know that, um, there's some neighbor's cat. I'm pretty sure, um, it's a neighbor's cat. So I'm just like, can you please let me sleep? <laughs> so, yeah, I'm gonna read more of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo before I go to sleep. And I'm still gonna continue on with Our Violent Ends audiobook, which I probably will be doing that a lot tomorrow because I'm doing other things on top of that. And yeah, I'm, I will talk to you later. Hey, everybody. I've read more of Our Violent Delights and Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I'm almost done with this. I have about like 100 pages left. I'm on 375, so yeah, I'm about 100 pages left of this. I'm loving it. I'm just really want to know what happens. I've been listening to it a lot yesterday, and I'm just like, I can't stop listening to it, and I really want to finish this so bad, like, as I'm loving this. So um, I've been loving this, and I'm just like really want to know what happens to the characters because everything's like crazy going on in that and i've read a lot of the like i said a lot of the seven husbands of evelyn hugo i'm on page 233 so i'm like halfway through and i'm also really enjoying this well and i do hope to finish both of these this week so i'm trying to finish our violent delight so i can start the gemini audiobook so yeah, that's my plan, and I'm hoping to finish this as well and try to figure out which physical book that I want to uh, read uh, um, for this video. Um, the House of Su in the Cerulean Sea or The Keepers of Lost Cities. I don't know which one yet, but I'll decide later. So that's pretty much it for this uh, update, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey everyone, I finished... The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I give us five stars. I could see why people gave us a high rain because there's a lot of representation in here. And I honestly didn't expect to get not only Evelyn Hugo's perspective, but also the reporter who's going to write her biography. You get a little bit of her perspective, which is really interesting. And even though I wish I listed this on audiobook, but I'm glad that I read physically because you get newspaper articles in here, which is kind of fun. And yeah, I really enjoy this. I'm not sure if I um, like this more than Daisy Jones and the Six. I think it's JZ, Daisy and the Jokes. It's still my favorite, but this could be my second favorite from this author. Also, I'm almost done with my audiobook for Our Violent Ends, and I'm on page 132, so I'm like, this much left and I probably will finish the audiobook today just because it's due in two days because I'm renting the audiobook from my library and I want to get that done so I probably will finish that today not sure yet but for my next physical read I'm gonna be reading The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune I know he's a very popular author right now he also wrote the um, Wolf Song in that book series. I forgot what it's called. And this has been hyped up on BookTube a lot for a while. And I thought I would pick this one up next. And 
I've heard nothing but good things about it and and TJ Quinn is a new author to me so I'm definitely excited about that. It's about this guy who goes to this um, orphanage and he becomes a new caretaker or something like that but uh, as far as I know people explain that as uh, a middle grade but in a dope book form so yeah I'm really excited to pick this up and hopefully I agree to some of the people that give it a high rating. Hey everybody, sorry that the sun's shining in my face. I don't know why I'm so... I feel like I'm blue in this clip, but uh, anyways. I finished Our Violent Ends by Chloe Gone. I loved it. It, it, it. I know I put this as 5 stars on Goodreads, but it's more um, 4.5 um, stars. Um, for me, I'm really glad that I finished up the trilogy. I'm... or not trilogy, duology. That's why I'm at duology. Oh my gosh, I, I literally just got home from work. I'm exhausted, but I honestly lo really loved how the story wrapped up, and I really still love the characters and the world, and I just can't wait to read um, her latest book that's coming out later this year called Full Lady Fortune, I think that's what it's called, but it's coming out later this year, so I can't wait to read that but I had to finish this physically because I didn't think I would have time on audiobook so yeah I'm still glad that I finished this and I'm only a so far I'm only a chapter in uh House in Cerulean Sea so I don't have much thought into it it's um it's just a very short chapter so I don't have much thought of it so far so my, I'm gonna for my audiobook I'm gonna start listening to Gemini by Amy Coffey and Jake Kristoff, yeah, it's thick, but I know people say it's a quick read because it's like has different formats and all that. But I'm just gonna listen to this on audiobook. I'm not gonna read along with it because it reminds me that I'm in school because I did that with a classic and it it literally kind of ruined that for me. I just don't like following along with a book with the audiobook because I I'm afraid I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> as I'm reading physically while listening to Aya book. So I'm just going to listen to it on Aya book without following along physically just because I'm, yes, I'm, I'm weird that way, but that's just how I am as a reader for Aya books and physically reading books. But yeah, that's just pretty much it up this update. Hopefully I'll read some, a little bit more of the House in Cerulean Sea and maybe start my Aya book for Gemini. Hey everyone, I've read a little bit more of this out. The House of Cer in the Cerulean Sea. I got to page 70, so I'm about 100 page mark. And I'm liking it so far, but I'm kind of confused at the same time right now. Hopefully it'll pick, um, it'll pick up some more once I read a bit more of this. Also, I started my audiobook for Gemini. I'm only an hour into it. I'm liking it so far, and it actually reminded me on how much how much I like the Illuminae audiobook. Like, it's almost like sounds like a, a radio show or something like that. Just because it's not only like you get um, more than one person narrating from two different characters' perspective, but you also get like almost like a. You get um, sound effects along with it because um, this is sci fi, so that, that's why I also like about it. So, like I said, I'm only an hour into it. I didn't want to put down how much, like, how, like, how far I'm in the book because it's, the chapters are so different and of course it's many a format, so I'm just gonna leave it to that. And my goal for, um, today is to try to read a little bit more of this and not obviously listen to more on, uh, Gemini Anya book, but it's pretty much it and yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, it's Jordan and I've read um 100 up to 111 pages of that house in the Cerulean Sea. I honestly don't feel it. You all, know, I know this is a very popular book on BookTube right now, but I really can't get into it. I am like they said it's supposed to be like a middle grade book, but for adults kind of thing, but. I'm really not feeling it. It doesn't feel like that to me. I found the first part interesting, but not really. I really, I know in the beginning of this video, I said I'm not expecting to DNF any books for this video, but this is a DNF for me. I'm sorry that you all love it, but I really can't get into it. I'm just, 
Don't understand the story. I know, this, again, this is a very popular book. I understand that, but I just don't get it. I really, I really was expecting to like this. And this was a gift from a Facebook group that I'm part of. And I honestly feel bad because I was interested in it because I've heard nothing but good things about it. But I'm just not feeling it. I'm really, again, I'm sorry if this is like one of your favorite books. But I just can't get into it. I'll give TJ Klune another chance in the future, but... I can't, I don't feel anything for this book. That's the sad part. I don't know. I, 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 I'm, I, I just have to DNF this book. I'm really disappointed. I, I, I had to DNF it. I'm sorry if you like this book. I just had to DNF it. <laughs> but good news, uh, but the good news is I've listened to a lot more of the Gemini Aya book and I, I think I'm two hours in. I think, yeah, I have, I'm like two hours, more than two hours in, yeah, there we go, and I'm liking it, so, and this reminds me of why I enjoyed Illuminate so much, I think it was four stars for me when I first read it, and I'm liking Gemini more, just, which is weird because I could see this as a sci-fi TV show, and I think this would be an awesome sci-fi TV show, I don't know why, but... I'm really enjoying Gemini. I'm always, I was intimidated by it because of how big it is. But I know I was going to listen to this on audiobook anyway. But I have like 10 hours left. So I do really need to catch up on this. Hopefully I will more throughout the week. But there is one last book for this. Field for Rena Highest Rhea books on my TBR. Which is The Keepers of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. I haven't read... I've, this is a very popular middle grade book, but I haven't heard anything about it until booktube, to be honest. And I'm excited about it. And and this is supposed to be like about an elf who uh, can read minds or something like that. I don't. Yeah, read minds. So I'm just nope. That's one of the characters. But she's put. Uh, um, she's a. She has the ability to telepath. That's. All I know about it, and I know this has like maybe six or seven books in a series or something like that, and it's just chunky, but I know middle grade is tend to be a little quick read for me, so I do expect to um, like this because I've been liking a lot of middle grades that I've read because of booktube, so yeah, I'm really excited about this, and hopefully I'll en enjoy it. <laughs> hey everybody, I've read a lot of Keeper of the Lost Cities. I got to page 89, so about 100 page mark. I'm really liking this so far. I didn't, I mean, I do really like a good middle grade, but I didn't expect the main character is going to be an elf, which I didn't know about, but I'm really happy that, that I'm liking it so far, and I'm really liking the world, and I really like the characters. And also, I'm about halfway through my audiobook for Gemini and and, it, and the weird thing is, I keep thinking that I'm not going to like it when I forgot that the, I really like the Illuminate audiobook. So it's, it almost sounds like a radio show kind of thing, but I, it sounds weird. But yeah, I'm, I, and the weird thing is I really like the couple in this one more than Illuminate, which is weird in my opinion. But um, yeah, that's pretty much my update. I probably will try to focus on finishing up the audiobook because I just... There are some days I don't feel like listening to an audiobook for some reason, so I'm gonna try to work on more of the Gemini uh, audiobook and read more of The Keeper of the Lost Cities in. Yeah, and I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, yeah, the sun is shining on me, I apologize, but I finished Keeper of the Lost Cities by Shannon Messenger. I really enjoyed this. I was, I didn't expect to love as much as I did just because like I know this is a very popular middle grade series and I I honestly love the characters it was a bit slow for me just because but I've been busy for the past few weeks but I loved it I love the characters and I love the world and I really didn't expect the twist in this which I'm not going to reveal because spoilers but I'm really excited to continue on with the series so yeah this is a five star raid for me and I'm still working on Gemini by Amy Coffin and Jay Kristoff. I am st still halfway through the Aya book and I'm gonna 
try my best to finish it just because I want to finish this and give you guys my full thoughts on the high rate, highest rating books that I've read for this video. But yeah, that's pretty much my update right now. And yeah, I'm trying going to try and finish Gemini as soon as possible right now just because I like the Aya book, but there's some days I'm just not in the mood for Aya book for some reason. But yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Hey everybody, I've finished Gemini by Amy Coppin and Jay Kristoff. I give this four stars, and I think I mentioned this earlier in this vlog that I actually forgot how much I liked Illuminate audiobook. <clears throat> and I, I, I don't know why I like the couple from this one more, Hannah and Nick, for some reason more than um, Ezra and Katie. I think that's her name, but um, I, I like this couple more in this, but. Now I'm like more excited to finish this trilogy just because I really like the audio book. Even though people did recommend to read it physically while listening to the audio book. But I, I'm not that type of reader. But other than that, I give this four stars. And so I finished all five of the highest rated books on my TBR. Even though I had one DNF, were they all five stars for me? Two of them are yes, and some of them are four stars. Yeah, it's still a good reading e either way. So, yeah, I am glad that I did this video and try out some books that were very popular or the books that I'm intimidated by or ones that I'm more excited about. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. <laughs> and if you enjoy it, give me a thumbs up and comment down below what highest rated books that you've read or if you agree with the rating. <laughs> if you haven't already clicked the subscribe button and click the bell icon to notify if I post new videos. Also you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreach, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!